be the same. From eTrans homepage, users can choose from a variety of e-payment processing options. By selecting the scan button, users are taken to a screen that allows them to use preset scanning options, or they can tailor their scanning sessions to their specific needs. The scan control tab allows them to choose the queue into which they want to scan their documents. Checks can be scanned either as Check21 images or translated into an ACH transaction. By turning the validation button on, they can compare the number of checks scanned and their dollar value to predetermined amounts. The Settlement button allows them to use the preset settlement account or choose an alternative from the dropdown. By turning on the Coupon button and selecting the predefined coupon style, remittance coupons will be imaged and aid back office integration. Additionally, eTran can accommodate multiple coupons to a single check, multiple checks to a single coupon, and even multiple coupons to multiple checks. By turning on the endorsement button, a predetermined endorsement can be printed on the physical check by the scanner, an endorsement image can be overlaid on the scan check, or both can be done. Once the scan options are selected, the Start Scan button begins the scanning process. By double-clicking on an entry, the Scan Review tab is revealed and the check image is displayed. Double-clicking on the image enlarges it. A second double-click restores it to the original image. The scan data and the processing boxes provide a view of the edible data for each check image. The Notes and Custom Data box allows the user to append text data to the transaction and also to associate back office data with each transaction. Finally, the non-edible change log keeps a record of any modifications to the transaction. Once the reviewing process is completed, the transactions are moved from the local PC to the review queue on the secure FTNI server by clicking on the Upload button. Following this action, no financial data remains on the user's PC. In some cases, the scanning of documents may provide incomplete or inaccurate information. By selecting the Scan Repair tab, users will be presented with any documents that require attention. The user will be prompted to enter missing but required information. That information is then entered from either the scanned image or the document itself. Once required information is provided, the transaction is moved to the appropriate queue and processing continues. unique data structure allows the organization of transactions in each queue by corporate division, geographical office, or any number of other methods. Data can be accessed down the organization, but cannot be viewed across or up the file structure. Transaction entries can be reordered by a simple click of each column heading. A detailed view of any image can be retrieved by simply double-clicking on, on the row of the entry to be viewed. Transactions can be moved from the review queue to the approved queue individually, in selected groups, or the entire queue can be moved all at once. Typically, scanned checks and ACH transactions are held in the review queue for evaluation based on flexible business rules, but they may be immediately moved to the approved queue. Selected transactions from any queue can also be exported into a variety of popular formats. Once check images and ACH transactions are moved to the approved queue, they will be transmitted to the financial institution for clearing at a predetermined time. The left panel on the search screen displays a wide range of drop-down and freeform search criteria, from date ranges and dollar amounts to account data, custom fields, and change logs. All data elements are searchable. Search results can be easily exported for printing or archiving. By selecting the Reports button, the user is first presented with a variety of report options. These reports may be generally available to all eTran customers, or may be specifically tailored to your unique needs. Microsoft Report Viewer tool is used to generate the reports. Once selections are made to determine data and date parameters for the report, the Run Report button triggers the generation of the report. An image of the report is quickly available to the user. The report then can be printed or exported into a popular file format for distribution or archiving. 